Did you know that there's an amazing one-stop general editor hidden within Photoshop Elements? I'm Karen Brockney and I want to introduce you to the Camera Raw Editor today. With the Camera Raw Editor, you can take a photo from start to finish in one easy to use interface. In this video, I'll explain a little bit about Camera Raw files, show you how to open and save them in the Camera Raw Editor, and we'll take a look at the Camera Raw Editor interface. In future videos, we'll dig deeper into Camera Raw. If you like this video, I hope you'll hit like and please subscribe to my channel to get notified about future videos. So why is there a Camera Raw Editor in Photoshop Elements? Some cameras like DSLRs and mirrorless cameras and some high-end smartphones can take photos in RAW format as well as JPEG. JPEG files have been edited and processed instantly within the camera so that you can share them or print them instantly. Camera RAW files, on the other hand, contain uncompressed, unprocessed data from the camera's sensor. You can't share or print them instantly. You have to edit them first. If you want to learn more about Camera RAW versus JPEG, I've written an article. I'll leave a link to it in the comments below so that you can check it out on my website. What's amazing is that the Camera Raw Editor in Photoshop Elements is the same editor that you can find in Photoshop CC and Lightroom. The Photoshop Elements version has less features, but the features that it does have work exactly the same way as they do in Photoshop CC or Lightroom. Let's take a look at the Camera Raw Editor. Photoshop Elements automatically opens Camera Raw files in the Camera Raw Editor. From the File menu, select Open, then find the RAW file that you want to edit, and we'll edit this image of orchids, and click Open. The image opens in the editor. You can also edit JPEG, TIFF, and PSD files in the Camera Raw Editor. In order to open these files, from the file menu, you would select Open in Camera Raw, then select the file and click Open to open it. Once the image is open, at the top of the Camera Raw Editor window, you'll see the version of Camera Raw that you're currently using, and you'll also see the name of the camera that took the picture that you're editing. Underneath the image is the name of the image file. On top of the image is a toolbar with several tools you can, you can use to help with your editing. The first one we'll look at is the one in the far right where you can toggle on and off full screen mode. You can click this image or press F to open up the editor in full screen mode. If you press F again, you'll go back into the window. So let's look at it in full screen mode and let's look at the tools on the toolbar. The first one is the zoom tool, which you use in the same way that you do in the full Photoshop Elements editor. If you want to look at only a portion of an image, you can click and drag to draw a rectangle around that portion and it will open up fully into the window. To move around within that image, click the hand tool and then when you see a hand on the screen, just drag and drop around the screen. To make that image fill the screen again, you can double click the hand tool. The white balance tool you will use in the basic panel to set the white balance in your image. The crop tool you can use to crop only a portion of the image. For example, if you click the crop tool and then I just want to crop this part, you'll see a crop window appears. If you like that, you would press enter to keep it, but if you didn't, you can press escape to release it. The straighten tool will straighten the horizon in an image. The red eye tool will remove red eye. The preferences tool opens up a preferences dialog box and we'll look at some of these preferences later on in a future video. To the right of the preferences are some arrows where you can rotate the image. I can rotate it right and then I can click to rotate it back again. If I press Alt or Option, 
the icons change so that I can flip the image horizontally or flip it vertically. Down at the bottom of the image are some buttons that you can use to access help and a number of different choices for how to save your image and dismiss the window. The panels at the right of the image are where the bulk of your edits take place. We'll be looking at some of these panels in detail in other videos, but I want to show you how the sliders work and the drop-down lists work today. The basic panel, the one on the far left that looks like an iris, a camera iris, is where you adjust brightness, color, contrast, and saturation in your image. In this single panel, you can accomplish edits that take several dialog boxes or adjustment layers in the main Photoshop Elements editor. To make changes, select an option from a drop-down list. Let's change this to Adobe Vivid. And then on the sliders below, you click and drag on the slider head to move it left or right. For example, you could move the exposure up or move it back. In the section just above exposure, you can click Auto to make auto adjustments to your image. If you want to reset any one slider, you can double click on the slider head to set it back to its default value. Or you could click Default to set all of the sliders back to their default values. Also, if you make several adjustments, like say I take this, this slider up and this one down and this one down and this one up and just making a number of unrelated edits. You can press Control Z or Command Z to step back through the edits that you just made. For now, we're just going to click Auto to make an auto adjustment to this image. The detail panel right next to the basic panel is where you sharpen the image. Notice that the Camera Raw editor has automatically added some sharpness and also some noise reduction to your image. The last panel is the calibration panel and you may never really need to use this. It shows the version of the Camera Raw interface that was used to edit this image. Right now there are five versions and if you had a very old version of the Camera Raw editor, you may have edited an older image in that version. Older images may show different sliders than what you see in the current version. To see before and after versions of your edits, you can use the preview tools at the bottom right of the image. Keyboard shortcuts make previews quick and easy. If you press P, you'll see the before and after views of your image in a single view. And just toggle back and forth between P to see before and after. If you press Q, you'll see the before and after views side by side or in a number of different configurations. And just keep pressing Q until you get back to that single image. When you want to save your image, you have a number of different options. If you click Save Image, it opens a dialog box where you can save an image as a DNG file or a digital negative file. A DNG file is a special archiving version of Camera Raw from Adobe. When you create the DNG file, your edits are saved in the DNG file and your original RAW file remains the same. So once the dialog box is open, you can just select the defaults to save the DNG file in the same location as your original file and click Save. For now, we'll click Cancel. If you press Done, your edits are saved in a special sidecar file with an extension of XMP. The next time you open your original RAW file, the Camera Raw Editor will also open the XMP file and show your edits. If you're editing a DNG files, 
the changes are saved in the DNG file and no XMP file is created. When you press Done, the editor is closed. You can also press Open Image. When you press Open Image to save your edits, you open the image in the Photoshop Elements Editor. And you also save either an XMP file or you save your changes to the DNG file. You can press Alt or Option and press Open Copy to open a copy in the Photoshop Elements Editor without saving your changes in an XMP file. So let's open this image in the editor. Once you've opened your file in the editor, you can make any other changes that you want to using all of the full tool set of Photoshop Elements. I hope you enjoyed this introduction to the Camera Raw Editor in Photoshop Elements. This is such a powerful tool that I've created a series of nine videos on how to use it. The next video that you'll see will be how to crop and straighten your images in the Camera Raw Editor.